continue to improve your foxhole. Guard everything within the limits of your post and quit your post only when properly relieved because no one is more professional than you are. You're a leader of soldiers. Competence is your watchword. Hey team, welcome back to the channel, man. As always, I'm stoked to see you. I had a really good question come across to me and I thought we'd spend a little bit of dialogue here and it's how can you separate yourself from your peers? All right, and as we get going, man, if this is something that you're into, right, progressing your career, becoming a better person, right, a better NCO, then make sure you subscribe to the channel, click the notification bell. That way you can stay up to date on some future content. And even what's more important to, to Stoker, uh, leave some comments down below about what things that you've learned along the way. How do we separate ourselves from our peers, right? I think one of the first things that we need to try to come to grips with is asking ourselves, are we really in a competition? And or who are we in a competition with? I would submit to you, team, that ultimately you're in a competition with you and yourself. If you spend all your time comparing yourself to other people around you, you're going to drive yourself crazy. It's not worth it, team. What you need to do is strive to be the best you that you can be. Now, how can we do that, right? Now we're, now we're trying to turn things back around and get to the same location, but just a, in a little, a little different ways, right? So here's one of the things that you can do. Find a need and fill it. Every company, every platoon, every squad every team has a need that is not cutting the mustard right so find that need and say here i am i'm ready to do this right now let's get after you have that identified you can start applying yourself to what it is it could be something as simple as as physical training it could be related to motor maintenance Maybe it's an additional duty Maybe it's ammo, maybe it's UA, maybe it's driver training program, maybe it's EO, Sharp, or MRT, all these corrosives that we have out there. But there are needs that are out there. Any inspection that your unit is subjected to is a need for somebody to help make sure that that company, that that unit commander is doing the right thing. And that's you, team, that's you. Find the need and fill it. Make it better than it was before. Continue to improve your foxhole. Guard everything within the limits of your post and quit your post only when properly relieved because no one is more professional than you are. You're a leader of soldiers. Competence is your watchword. All these things that we say and we recite it keeps coming and flooding right back on me the more steps I put on the ground. Now, today happens to be a Donza, right? Do not schedule anything, right? Today's a, today's a day off. And what are you doing on your days off? Me, I come out here to continue to try to master my craft. I do other things, of course. You know, I spend time with my family and my dogs. I work on the house. I work on the vehicles. I help my kids where they have some needs. I be present for those who call me that are seeking some assistance. But I also come out here to master my craft on my own time. Nobody's forcing Stoker to come out here and to do different things. So take time away from the TikTok, which if you TikTok, you know I'm there, right? Take time away from YouTube, but not too much time, right? I'm just kidding. You, you, you need to step off, right? You need to get off the game systems. You need to crack open some books and start reading more so that you can learn some different language and some skills intellectually that you can begin to apply out in the physical world. You need to learn more about the human dimension, team. You need to learn how people tick. You need to learn how money ticks. You need to learn about 
social structure. You need to learn about all of the things of where we have been, what has led us to where we are, and where it seems that we are going in the future. Maybe that's through institutional training, right? Maybe it's through self-education, right? That self-domain of cracking open some books, going to the library, going to the bookstore. One of my favorites is going to a second-hand bookstore and finding some great deals on some books. Reading some philosophy, some history, some poetry. And then do something with it. I think you're going to find much more value, much more, as you would say, return on the investment from making yourself better as long as the impact, that result, is making the world around you better. Team, let me know what you think about that. What kind of books do you read? What kind of craft are you out trying to master? You see, as a soldier, as a non-commissioned officer, regardless of your rank, grade, or position, we need to also dig into regulations. Now, most people study like armystudydiet.com or, or they watch Stoker's videos or whatever, and that's cool, but man, you need to crack open some regulations. You need to, you need to be smart on the things that apply to you each and every single day. So you need to know 600-20, you need to know 600-25, you need to know 7-22, 6-22, 600-9, 350-1. There's a lot of regulations, and some of them, team, are not all that big. 600-20 is a small one, right? You need to read all your ADPs, right? Those, those are all super small because they're much broader in scope. Learn about how the army wants to be structured and wants to work. There is a reason for it. And too many times we get stuck in the old patterns and habits of doing things because that's the way that they did it back then. And back then could be our previous... It could be me, right? I could be leading folks down the wrong path. Whether it's through ignorance, whether it's through egotism, whatever it is, right? Put yourself in check. Know yourself and seek self-improvement. First principle of leadership, team. I think when we do these types of things, right, when we find the needs and we fit it, when we continue to master our craft of being a soldier, of a person, of an NCO, when we learn more about our job and our profession and we apply this knowledge to our team, regardless of how big it is. Everything else takes care of itself. Because you're getting better, and your team is getting better. Team, that, that's all we can do, right? That's ultimately all that we can do. That's what's in our sphere of influence, is ourself and our team, however big or small that it may be. And as long as we are taking it to someplace better than it was yesterday, and I'll know that by my boss, because they should be setting some expectations, and we should be setting some goals in that counseling. Things that we want to do, places that we want to go, areas that need improvement, monitoring this along the way, right? Again, it's all, it's all there right in front of us. We just have to do it. The problem is, I think, as far as I can tell, that so many of us get concerned about what Joe is going to say or about what our peers are going to say that we're all concerned with, that we're in some kind of a rat race with. Team, if you're doing right, if you're living by the Army values, you don't have to worry about what Joe thinks. You don't have to worry about what your peers think think. You don't have to worry about what some seniors think. Sometimes that means making some hard rights. Speaking up when others won't. Not speaking 
when you think that you might should so that you can check yourself on the inside first so that you're not speaking out of selfishness. When we do what's right, the right thing is going to take care of itself. And you're going to find points of friction out there, team. Don't, don't, don't get it mistook. Friction is going to come. But be patient. And don't quit. Because if you quit, there is no reward. Team, you got this. You're not alone. Let's keep on grinding, team, and let's master our craft. I appreciate all you guys, man. If you did enjoy it, leave some comments down below. That way we can continue to keep this conversation rolling. I appreciate you guys, man. Until then, you stay out there, you keep grinding, and you stay stoked.